Oh, clearly, time to start. We're going to have our bell this morning. Good morning, everybody. We are so glad you are here. Um, and, you know, who knows what it's going to do on a Friday morning in South Dakota. So thank you for braving the elements. Hopefully um, we don't get too much today, but we'll see. We are grateful um, that you're here for the first annual Power Partnerships Breakfast. We um, intend to make this an annual occasion because we have so much to celebrate in our community um, for the partnerships that we enjoy in Sioux Falls Public Schools. So to start us off this morning, I'm going to introduce Kate Parker, one of our wonderful board members, and she's going to say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Stavum. Get my glasses on. I can't, I haven't figured out the mask and the glasses yet. It just fogs <laughs> up all the time. Anyway, um, good morning, and thank you all for braving the weather this morning to join us. When I look out into the audience, I see many, many longtime partners of the Sioux Falls School District, and I see brand new partners who are just establishing connections with our schools. You are equally valued and greatly appreciated. Sometimes we forget that Sioux Falls is a special place filled with special people. We forget that not every community is as close-knit and supportive as Sioux Falls. Let's hope we don't take that for granted. This year, the Sioux Falls School District is celebrating its 150th anniversary of providing high-quality public education for the children of Sioux Falls. Even as the school district was first being organized way back in 1871, the city's earliest business leaders recognized the value in, of investing in public education. They knew strong businesses needed strong schools, and strong schools needed strong businesses. The legacy of support our schools have received through the years has been so good for our students and for our community. You know that investing time and energy into growing the skills and abilities of our students benefits us all. We are so grateful for your partnerships. Many of you are parents and guardians as well as business leaders. Parents are, of course, in integral to the success of our students and our schools, so we thank you for walking alongside us in every aspect of education. Together, businesses thrive, families grow, and students are successful. This is the power of partnerships. So thank you all for being here. We appreciate you and enjoy some lovely food from, is it from our CTE students? Uh, it is from our food service. Food service, okay, well enjoy. Thank you. Right now, Kate serves as our board vice chair and so I also want to introduce the other board members who are present this morning. Nan Baker, I thought I, oh, she migrated over here. Nan, thank you for coming. Mark Murin. Mark is way back there. Carly Ryder and uh, Cynthia Mickelson, our board president, was not able to be with us this morning, but does send her greetings to all of you. We have been um, envisioning this event for a long time, and it really came about because we started to look at um, partnerships for some um, more formal reasons. Do we have contracts? Do we have agreements? And as we started to make the list, we were just uh, amazed at how many different entities in our community are on this list. Um, you are all a small part of the hundreds of partnerships that come alongside our school district every single day to help our students. And so as we kick off the morning, I want you to draw your attention to uh, the video boards. We have a short video about the power of partnerships.
you to our video production staff for putting that together. Let's give them a hand this morning. I can tell my frustration is going to be not being able to recognize everyone who comes as partners. I do want to recognize, though, some of our city officials who came. Our mayor, Mayor Ten Haken, is here with us this morning, and our police chief, John Toom, is here as well. Do we have any other city or county officials here? There we go, right there, and any other? We have our uh, Director of Library Services, and so um, we have partnerships that begin at that city level. We have county level and, of course, state level partners, but today our focus is on our local partners, and this uh, list behind us represents just the things that are partnered right here in this building. You're standing in an example of a partnership that exists in our district with the Career and Technical Academy. These are the partners who come alongside to make the programs in this building happen, as well as flowing out into our high schools and middle schools. So when we think about partnerships, um, you think of it as kind of a sphere that encapsulates our school district from our very youngest learners, babies, uh, preschoolers, toddlers, then they make their way into our preschool classrooms and in an elementary school where we have mentors, we have uh, internships, we have our teacher pathway programs, and you flow all the way up into our middle schools where we have um, great opportunities for students to do career exploration. We have junior achievement volunteers that come in and teach our students. We have partners that have funding for us so all of our eighth graders can go visit a college campus. We move into high school and we have partnerships that support our students going out into the community, learning job skills, being exposed to all the wonderful opportunities that we have here in Sioux Falls. And the lists go on and on and on. The interesting thing to me is that partnerships don't seem to come in this district and then fall away. They're exponentially added to and grown. And that's our goal as we move into the future is to be the best partnering school district in the nation so that more and more organizations want to come alongside for the benefit of our students, which is, of course, for the benefit of our community and our state and ultimately our world. And so with that, I would also love to show some video testimonials from some of the people who have benefited from these partnerships. Partnerships. The power of partnerships for me. The power. The power. The power of partnerships. The power of partnerships for me has really meant collaborating with individuals, organizations, and businesses to elevate and celebrate our teachers uh, who are finding new ways to engage, support, and motivate their students. The power of partnerships for me has meant the freedom to kind of explore whatever career I'm interested in. And well, I was just kind of browsing what programs were available at CTE for my senior year and I saw internships and oh, that's perfect. You know, I wanted to find out more about what I'd actually be doing with my life <laughs> and um, well it led me to interstates and since then it's actually led me to get in, build Dakota and move on to Southeast Tech. The power of partnerships for me has meant when I got here today to do this one of the kids in this school came and gave me a big hug Partnerships are changing the lives of children, one child at a time. The power of partnerships for me has meant being able to get a head start on what I'm going to be learning in college and especially being able to figure out for sure what I want my major to be. It's also allowed me to do some networking before even starting my career, which is really cool. The power of partnerships for me has meant working together toward a common goal. For the last 54 years, the Sioux Falls School District and Junior Achievement have worked together to connect students to their community through relevant experiences. The power of partnerships for me has meant a lot because I got the opportunity to come here and work for a company called Weller Brothers. I was set up here at Weller Brothers through Dawn Marie. She works at Joe Foss. And this internship really meant a lot because I was able to come in here and work and make money at the same time. It was a paid internship. Yo vine a, a Waller Brothers por medio de Dale Marie. Ella me ayudó a conseguir ese trabajo porque yo necesitaba buscando un trabajo y lo necesitaba. Y pues me ha ayudado mucho porque he estado aprendiendo a hacer patios, a hacer más cosas, he estado aprendiendo jardinería. 
he estado haciendo como patios, decoraciones y al final aprendo muchas cosas. We're supporting what's happening in the classroom, we're pushing innovation, we're helping those who are just starting out in their career, but then we also want to make sure that we're providing those basic needs so that if there are students or families who are living in crisis, we can help meet uh, some of those needs so that when they come to school, they're focused, prepared, and ready to learn. I was looking at a few different options. Mechatronics was one of them, but it wasn't the primary option. Um, but then I started working here at Interstates, I got a great opportunity, and it's kind of forged the path ahead for me. We're a workforce development initiative that works cradle to career by bringing together a variety of organizations to help fill those gaps that exist in kids' lives outside the classroom. We have a great school system but kids only spend about 20% of their time in a, in a classroom, and so we're looking at that ecosystem around them. Affordable housing, food security, and out of school time. I would recommend an internship to anybody, especially if you're even like somewhat certain about a major that you want to go in. It's definitely worth figuring out ahead of time, and you get to meet some really awesome people and have a really great experience. We just are so grateful for the partnership with the school district. We have the opportunity to work with every student, kindergarten through 12th grade, every year. So our kids have the chance to meet with countless uh, volunteers during their education and appreciate the, the chance to, to spend time with them during the school day. And our volunteers appreciate understanding what it's like to be in a classroom and how hard it is to be a teacher and, and the hard work that they put in as well. So we think it's really a, a great relationship between the community and the school to work together to help our kids succeed. I actually plan to join the um, foreman in training and I plan to be a foreman and build patios and all those type of things. They provide the program here. It's like a two-year program, so that's the plan. Y en el futuro yo pienso ser un foreman, pues pienso aprender poco más y más. Se va a tardar unos cuantos años, pero eh, estaré aprendiendo un poco más para así lograr hacer como un foreman poder tener la capacidad de hacer mi propio patio yo solo decorar mi casa decorarla con un patio bonito We know that strong public schools are in everyone's best interest and the work that our teachers are doing day in and day out with our 24,000 students would not be possible without all of the community partners who really rally around our teachers, our support staff, and our students to make sure that they have everything they need to be successful in our schools. That voice you just heard in the video, of course, is Allison Struck. Allison is a director of our Sioux Falls Education Foundation. The table tents on the table have some QR codes if you're interested in um, donating to the foundation. They do wonderful partnership work supporting our teachers with innovation and a lot of different things that go right to the classroom. So Allison, we're grateful for your partnership. We also heard in this video that this is life-changing work. This isn't just about fun things for kids to do, even though it is fun. It's about work that really impacts the trajectory of a life. It helps students make decisions for their future. It gives them a picture of adults in our community who are doing great things in their work and in their lives. It gives them a purpose for coming to school every day. We know that some of the dents of COVID has led some of our kids to really question the relevance of education, the relevance of envisioning a future, and we know that that is vital to the health of their own future well-being as well as the future of our community. So these types of partnerships are what keep us on track and moving towards the future. It helps keep our kids on track and it helps us envision a better tomorrow for everyone. We also know that to do that work takes time and attention and intentional efforts. And so right now I want to introduce one of the newest members of our team. Come on up so they can see you. Um, Rebecca Wimmer, you may know from her work with Boys and Girls Club. They are not happy with me at Boys and Girls Club <laughs> because we stole her. And um, we have hired her on as our director of after school um, programs and community partnerships. Because as we look to the future, we want to continue to enhance our current partnerships. You heard that video talk about out of school time. We know that some of the most important things that we do for kids in addition to the school day are after that school day. 
So uh, Rebecca's charge is to be looking and cultivating and connecting the existing partnerships that we have, as well as growing new ones for more and more and more opportunities for our students um, during the day and in those after school hours. So help me in welcoming Rebecca. The biggest purpose of today is saying thank you because that was really the uh, motivation for having this event is because we rarely get a chance to gather you all together, recognize the collective impact of our work and to say thank you because we truly can't do this work without all of you. And our students in Sioux Falls are so fortunate to get up every day get on a bus, walk to school, get a ride, and come to a place that wraps its arms around them from a school and a community that says we value children and we want to do our very, very best for you and for your future. So please give all of yourselves a round of applause for the great work that you do for kids every day in our community. It's amazing work from feeding kids to helping them grow in a career to supporting them and their families to looking at all of the possibilities that we can put together in the years to come. If you know a business or industry, uh, a nonprofit, an organization that could benefit what we do in the Sioux Falls School District, please tell them that we are interested in being a partner with them. We want to continue to grow and make connections and help everybody come together around this important work. So thank you for coming. I hope next year it's not snowing and icing. Even if it is, we will hopefully um, be able to hold this event so that every year we can grow it. I hope we can fill it from one end to the other as we say thank you for your partnership. Thank you very much for coming, everybody. Enjoy some more food, take the light bulbs of M&Ms and uh, make somebody happy back at your workplace. Make sure those tables are empty when you go. Have a great day.